Well, what's up, everybody? Um, just a quick little video here. I wanted to talk about uh, Eurorack filters and maybe some more uncommon ways to use them. Um, you'll notice that on both of my, my Polaris and my E440 here, um, they both have two frequency modulation inputs. Um, you got FM1 on both of them, which is just a unipolar control, meaning that this is zero and this goes up to five volts, I imagine. And then this control for the frequency modulation number two can go both ways. So let's go ahead and listen to the source material that I have going on into here. Just a cool little uh, paraphonic sequence I got going. So here's the classic way to do it. You just take a, uh, you know, this is a, just some control voltage. It's a little envelope that I have running and you plug it into you know, this classic unipolar thing, and you get this classic sound. And I can, you know, change the decay. But for me, where the real fun happens is, you know, you just get, you get a second CV source going, and you run it into the second frequency modulation input, right? So you get this you can get these really fun polyrhythms. So by changing the amount that I'm allowing through both of these attenuators, I can get different rhythms. And the really fun thing is that the, the second input on both of my filters actually goes in reverse. So, so I'll just mess a little bit with the attack and the decay. Right? So we're just making different rhythms here. So yeah, I would say that that's like kind of one of the more uncommon ways to use a filter. I mean, you can just constantly generate interest here. You know, you're just taking these two different control voltage signals and you're you're adding, you're kind of making like a, a ride the waves kind of sound, you know, over it. So it gets even more fun. Um, you can do even more crazy things. Like here's, here's just, a, you know, your, your classic, that's my first envelope going into frequency modulation number one. Just a classic, classic sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to feed my I'm going to feed my FM2 from one of my oscillators that's in this sequence, and I'm going to put it in the center so it doesn't make any effect right away, or it might make a little. But you can just start to add um, FM, you know, the same kind of sound that you might get out of an oscillator, just right here. You can already hear it a little bit. Okay, so maybe that's not too musical. Well, the fun thing is, is that I have that other, uh, that entire other envelope going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lead and I'm going to plug it into my um, a VCA, right? Okay, and I'm going to take another cable that's coming out of my envelope, and I'm going to open and close that FM amount using that. And I'm going to take another cable and I'm going to run it into my filter. So now I'm using that envelope to open and close. And here's, here's the control signal right here to open and close that, that FM amount. So now I've got some pretty wacky things going on. I'll even, you know, for the fun of it. 
that's all just from that one sequence, you know, just that one little sequence having different, you know, control voltage signals going into it. You know, sometimes when you have frequency modulation, you have to kind of mess with things to get the right tuning going. But yeah, this is just, you know, little ways to generate interest in your, in your sequences and to get more action and more like animation going. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, if you want to like, comment, subscribe, you know, do the thing. Thanks, guys.